we're about to head into the state of origin and major buy period for NRL fantasy coaches. Now, if you've played the games before, you know exactly the chaos and the storm that we're driving into. If you're a new coach, all I can say is good luck and try to follow some of this advice. Welcome back to another Zero Tackle NRL Fantasy video. I'm Longy, previous overall NRL Fantasy champ and the casual athlete here to talk to you about the top five buys for round 13. Let's get into it. So first one here, Brandon Hands, 230K. Look, this is good timing, right? In NRL Fantasy, you can only play one player per each starting positional slot um, for this week in the major buy rounds. So if you already have a hooker and two halves, it's going to be tough to buy this guy. But for Brandon Hands, 230k it's a great price point you got the dual position of hooker and half coverage he's coming to the starting side over joey lusick it looks like he's going to nail down that spot um, and joey lusick isn't even on the bench for this week so it could be an 80 minute performance for brandon hands could easily walk in and average 40 points for you at base price absolutely crazy this is an a plus bona fide must have buy go and get him don't think about it too much easy option next guy here Max King, it's a B-plus option, so not quite as exciting. We have a few more really interesting ones down the stretch of this video, but 675K is a bit more expensive than when I first raised him. Still at a good price, 49.9 average, so that's about what he is, right? Like, he's that 50 average guy. He covers the middle spot, which is very tough to cover. A lot of you guys have Payne Haas. You've got Isaiah Yo. You've got Ruben Cotter. A lot of these guys are going to play Origin, so Max King should be rock solid through this Origin period at the, the Bulldogs there. Next guy here, and this is another A-plus slam dunk for you here, you and Aitken. And look, the price is very expensive, right? So 750 k it's not a cheap option for your fantasy side. But at the same time, this guy has been on another level. There is no center in NRL fantasy that compares to you and Aitken. And that's a funny thing to talk about, right? Because as a center in fantasy, he's a back rower in real life, and that's why he's so transcendent. You can plug him into your center spot or your starting edge back row spot, but for me, if I'm getting you and Aitken, I view him as a long-term center in my fantasy side and a guy who's averaging 55.1 points a game. So you and Aitken, borderline must have. Keep in mind that the Dolphins do have that buy in round 14. So if you already have too many players from the Roosters, the Raiders, and the Dolphins, it might be a bit of trouble for you there. All right, Jack DeBellin, number four here, 726K. It's a good price for him. He's a guy who's gotten past 800K in the past. 51.6 um, average is about what he is this year. I'm a bit worried too, because look at the Dragons. Uh, obviously, there are a few changes. So Hame Selle got injured last week. We saw DeBellin move to the prop spot. We saw Eisenhuth move to the lock spot. We saw Luciano Lelua go into the starting back row spot. So does DeBellin get as many minutes playing prop as he did at lock? For me, I lean towards probably not. Uh, he still averages quite well. So last year, he averaged about 70 points when he played prop. This year, it's been about 51, so he's still averaging just about what you expect from him, but uh, it could be a little bit of risk. I do like Jack DeBellin by, though. He plays around 13 and around 19 as far as major buy rounds, and he's a, he's just a tackle machine, man. This guy's a tackle bot. He gets out there, he does his work, and he goes home. Never gets hurt. He's a good option. A- minus buy for this week. Reed Barney is the last one here, and if you need a hooker uh, and you don't want Brandon Hands or you want to play Brandon Hands in your half spot instead, Reed Money is a good shout, right? 53.3 average. I was a bit concerned last week when I saw Jake Turpin pop up on the bench, but at the same time, Money gets his work done, right? So he only played about 70 minutes in that game, still made his 50-plus tackles, still got involved in attack as well, um, has a lot of try assists this year. If you need a if you need a hooker, Dogs play around, play around 13 and round 19 major buy rounds, and Reed Money is one of those guys who you can just trust him, right? Like, you know he's going to go out and make his 50 tackles, it doesn't matter if they're favorites, if they're massive outsiders, he's doing his work. And the stronger middle forward rotation for the dogs is meaning that he's not missing as many tackles either. So Reed Money rounds out the top five buys for this week. Uh, thank you guys for joining. Let me know if you like this content and I'll see you on the next video. Good luck with your fans.